Hi everybody! I'm here with my good friend Elle, and we're at the Dragon's Den Herb Shop here to talk to you about the Four Gentlemen formula. Welcome to our video. We're talking today about Sajinsitan. Sajinsitan literally translates to mean the Four Gentlemen, and the reason is because there are four herbs in this formula, which we'll go over in a second here. In Chinese medicine, they usually go with um, order of importance, because this is the four gentlemen, they're all equally important. They all play a big role, and it's not going to be the same if you take out any of the herbs from this formula. The first herb is Ren Shen, also known as Panax Ginseng. It's a qi tonic. It tonifies the spleen. And what I really like about red ginseng is that it also gives you some adaptogenic benefits. Mm -hmm. So if you're experiencing stress, overwhelm, anxiety, um, all reasons which can impact your digestion, it's a great herb to have in this formula because it's working with not only the digestion aspect, but also the uh, stress and overwhelm as well. The next herb here, uh, second in command to the ginseng, is Baiju. It's white Attractylodes, and it really works to dry dampness the spleen as an organ in Chinese medicine really doesn't like being damp. The damp overpowers the yang ability to really extract nutrients from our digestion. So that's why the Attractylodes is in there. Um, I don't like to categorize the herbs because they all play so many different roles. But if I had to, I would say that this one here dries dampness. It's also spicy and bitter in its flavor and it's slightly warming. So we're using mostly warming herbs here mm -hmm. to really build the digestive fire. Mm -hmm. Next up is Fu Ling, which is one of my favorite herbs to work with. It drains damp and also tonifies the spleen. Its other name is Poria. So essentially it's um, part of a mushroom, right? Mm -hmm. The outside of a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of a sponge mm. where it could totally soak up some extra fluid and the white color of it and even it being a bit spongy shows me that it's pretty neutral. It doesn't mm. have much spice to it. Yes. Um, it's not cold or cooling, which you wouldn't really want if you're trying to boost your metabolism and fire. Yes. So. Neutral in flavor and temperature. And last but not least is Jergon Sao, which is the honey fried licorice, and it's the ultimate harmonizer. So it harmonizes the other herbs and um, works also to tonify the chi, boost the spleen. I think by frying it uh, makes it a bit more warming and uh, possibly more yang too. Mm. Um, but the Chinese formula here, you'll see that this licorice is moist and it does have that quality. It's moistening, which um, helps balance out the baiju and also the fuling, which are both drying herbs. Mm. So the uh, the Chinese really had it, you know, in their mind to balance each formula so nothing was too drying or too moistening, but that it was just right. Mm -hmm. And we're using a little bit less of this herb. We're using six grams, whereas with the other three, we're using nine. Um, it is honey fried, so it is can be sticky and cloying, and that could be a reason why we're using a little bit less also. Mm -hmm. If you're having digestive disorders, like maybe loose stool, um, lack of appetite, um, even like issues with IBS, gastritis, I mean, definitely please work with a practitioner and find out what works best for you. But I like this formula a lot because it's very gentle and it's nourishing as a tonic. Yeah. Yeah, some biomedical indications are, like Meg said, digestive system, possibly peptic ulcer, um, absolutely for lethargy, um, possibly anemia, um, chronic gastritis, IBS, hepatitis, um, and reducing recovery time after uh, gastric surgery because it's really gentle formula, it's soothing, balancing, and tonifying. There's such an importance to our gut and um, I think recent science is starting to find out how important the gut health and the brain health, the gut-brain connection is so relevant 
Um, that's why we want to eat healthy, organic food as much as possible and stay away from the processed, oily, fried, heavy foods. If this is something that you're used to eating, this formula might be really helpful for you. Um, mainly, this formula isn't going to just give you a boost like caffeine, coffee, or tea, or however. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you assimilate your nutrients so your body can do it on its own. Mm -hmm. So we want to start by giving the body good, organic, healthy food so that way it doesn't have to work any harder than it needs to. Mm -hmm. Our foundation is really our physical. So when we're taking care of our physical bodies, then we can be mentally happy, emotionally happy, and strong, and expand and work on that self-cultivation that the four gentlemen really calls for. So let's make our tea. Yeah. So our water is boiling. It's a gentle boil. We don't want to overcook our herbs. And in goes the rension. Next is the baiju, white attractylodes. And then we've got fuling, also known as poria or hoelin. And then last but not least, we've got jurgon sao, honey fried licorice. And there we go. And then we just put the lid on and we're gonna let this simmer for a good, I would say at least 20 to 30 minutes because you really wanna extract the nutrients and the, the medicinal properties from these herbs here. This is a chi tonic formula. So if we're having chi deficiency, if we're feeling fatigued, if our, um, if we're pale, if we're not able to digest our food, which is where chi comes from, we get energy from the food and beverages that we digest. Um, if you have a soft voice, if you're really just not feeling there, if you're feeling weak and tired, maybe you've got a lack of muscle tone, these are all signs of chi deficiency. Yeah. This formula is gonna boost the stomach and spleen. And like Meg said, if you're feeling weak muscles, the spleen is what controls the muscles. And these are the organs that are giving our digestive fire, um, you know, really processing that food and mm -hmm. giving us great energy to move our bowels and keep everything regular because health really does start with digestion. Absolutely. Basically what we want is ideal digestion to get the nutrients from the food. So some indications to take this formula would be uh, pale tongue, weak pulse, just feeling low energy, and some contraindications are if you're um, having a lot of heat, feeling really warm, and or um, just not using it for a long time because it can be a bit drying. Oh, beautiful. It is. So if the tea is a little too much of a process for you to make, uh, there are convenient ways of taking this formula. Four Gentlemen Tea Pills by Plum Flower, or you could get any kind of uh, tea pills. You just would take, you know, maybe eight, three times a day is usually what they recommend. Um, just make sure that the product is made with good quality ingredients and is from a reputable source. We like Plum Flower because we know that they do their third party testing and they make sure that everything is what they say it is. And uh, in the Sun 10 formula, Sejinzaton comes in a powder or granule is what they call it. And this is super easy to just add to hot water um, and just stir it in. And I think they recommend doing this three times a day or if you are working with a practitioner, go with what they're recommending. So these are all ways that you can take this formula, tea pill, powder granule, and hot tea. available for you. We're here if you want to do some sort of um, 
intake for herbs. You can always order from the Dragon's Den where available. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.